Kapuso Kapatid at Kabayan. Ako po si Chris Urbano at ngayon araw, magluto ka ng isang breakfast dish. It's a take on something we eat a lot in Sydney, baked eggs with chorizo, but syempre may Pinoy twist jam. I'm gonna be using vegan longanisa today. Uh, this is a really easy, deceptively easy recipe to make at home, so try this out next time you have somebody want to impress for breakfast, you won't regret it. So we start off with some uh, bawang dito sa isang mainit na kawale, cherry tomato. Um, and how about my little na ito, I'm going to chop up this, uh, this longanisa. The most important thing uh, spice sa itong dish ay uh, cumin. You want about maybe isang buong kutsarita. Maybe a soup measure. At konting paminta. Okay, so na yan naman yung dadagin natin ng isang klase ng bean. So you can use any type of bean. Pwede naman yung, um, yung parang yung white and yung beans. Maybe even kidney beans. But, you know, parang fun. I like these black guys. Mahal ko ng isa or dalawang na nabutas para sa itlog. After you've cracked yung mga tat or apat na itlog, ilagay mo sa oven. So put in a lot of egg whites and this is ready to go. But we're just gonna bring this out, place it right here. And there we have it. Baked eggs with longanisa, kesong puti, parsley. The perfect way to start your weekend breakfast. So, nandito ako kasama si Jill Banta, ang galing sa The Food Scout blog. Jill, thanks so much for being here today and letting me uh, experiment my new Philippine breakfast creation on you. Sure, for anything about anything, I'm red like a Girl Scout. Okay, and, and yung, yung Food Scout na blog, anong ibig sabihin dyan mismo? The Food Scout is started with my passion to eat talaga. I love scouting from the word scout. It's a version. I like to look for new restaurants. Okay, and on that note, of course, don't forget you can check out the Food Scouts in the description below, and of course, follow us at our uh, uh, social media channels, so Facebook, Instagram, and so forth. So today we're doing this with a Philippine longanisa to pagalais or a Filipino nice this particular dish. But this is something that we really eat a lot in Sydney. Like you go to a Sydney cafe, you're gonna get like a baked eggs, uh, and I like to serve it with sourdough. But honestly, there's no reason why you couldn't do this one with rice. So for uh, any Filipinos who refuse to eat without rice. For sure. The Filipino sea longanisa, just hear about yeah. longanisa, egg, automatic. Yeah, mekanin ba. But, but today I'm going to ask you to try it with sourdough in honor of uh, my Sydney tradition. So we're going to try this out. Um, I'm going to get you a, a spoon of this, huh? Mm -hmm. so. The food scout. It's really good. Especially when you add the parsley in this. Yeah. You can some put these softens it out just a little bit. It balances all the flavors. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright. So it's special breakfast party has different kinds of flavors in just one hot plate. Um so Joe, thank you for tasting that. Thank you for sharing your thoughts, uh the manga subscribers. Um and Yung Anonaman. Yung apron na yun, that's yours to keep. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for having me. Okay. Super enjoyable. Sige, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Okay.